Lotmax sent me their 3D printer to review, it's called CS10 Shark version 2. So let's get started. On top of the box you can find some parts of the printer. Starting from instructions book that has useful information needed to set up and use the printer. They included two colorful filaments for initial prints. You can see green and orange colors are available. This box has some parts with one more extruder that is needed for dual color printing. This toolkit has some useful tools that you will need while using the printer. Glasses for using laser engraver function. Cable to power up the printer. One USB cable to connect and operate the printer using computer. And this little package has many tools that is needed to set up the printer. And your SD card is also here. A nice clipper as always. Filament spool holder that is made from plastic. And one ordinary scrapper. This little box has something that not all printers have. It is plug and play laser engraver tool, which is I will show you later. This one is LCD control panel with big display and touch screen. Now time to go lower to get the printer itself. These wounds are used to test the laser engraver. So we are left with the printer only. I'll get it and show you outside of the box. This is the printer. We have to set it up. It's not very hard task. You just need to follow the instructions book. So finally, we have done setting up process. Now I need to show you some key features of Lotmax CS10 Shark version 2. This printer is one of the most silent printers that I have seen in my life. Just listen its noise. Starting from the right side, a control box with a large display and touchscreen gets your attention of course. It is bright and clear enough to see the content. On the upper side of the control box, you can find SD card slot for flashing the firmware for your LCD screen. So in this control box, you have enough options to control your printer. And the cable of your control box is very convenient to operate your printer from longer distance. The next feature is a hot end that can support double extruder. Yes, you are right, this printer can print dual color objects. In version 2 of this printer, they include second extruder by default. In version 1, you had to buy it as an option. This is all metal extruder with strong spring and dual gears. The bed is not so big, but it's enough for most of my prints. What I like from this bed is flexible metal magnet build plate. It's very very convenient to use and it sticks very well. This printer has also dual fans to improve print quality which is very nice. 
The main extruder is also all metallic with strong spring, dual gears and filament detector. Wow, they included auto leveling by default, which is very handy all the time. One of the most key features of this printer is laser engraver. I will show using it later. All key features are just extra functions. The most important thing is print quality, so let's test it now. Before starting to print, we need to manually level the bed and auto level it to get the best results ever. I found one weird thing you should make before starting to print, otherwise you will have filament run out warning forever. So you should have to make sure all filament detection sensors have filament, even if you are using one extruder. Lotmax has their own slicer software which is modified version of Cura. So I'll be using this slicer, since it has ready to use profiles. So let's measure the result. This cube must have 2 cm from all sides. I think we have to calibrate the Z side. Now finally, we will test the laser engraver kit. We just have to replace it with hot end and plug the cables.
Lotmax has their specific software to generate G-code for laser engraver kit, but I think it's in beta mode, because UI is not good and crashed several times when I want to use PNG files. I have tested this laser engraver several times and loved this kit. It draws very smoothly and very fast. I am so happy with it. By the way, happy Ramadan. So my review is over. I have tested it and you have watched it. If you are wondering whether you should buy this printer or not, let me tell my opinion. If you are not so professional in 3D printing, and want to use it only for houseworks or if you want all-in-one cheap 3D printer this must be the best option for now. I know I haven't made much 3D printing tests with this printer. I liked its quality so I'll be using it in my 3D printing showcase videos so you can see more test prints there. Finally, if you decided to buy, I will add the links in video description to buy this printer. So for now, see you in the next one.